Well, okay, so this is next day. Um, last night, we had some business to take care of, so we did that. We come back, and our beautiful white kitten, cat, had killed all of our chicks, all our silkies. We had like eight or nine of them in a brooder, and we had failed to secure it properly, and she took it upon herself to dispose of them. Um, on the way home, we found two kittens that had been uh, dumped on the side of the road, busy intersection, and uh, we brought them home. Uh, I was really upset about it, losing our silkies. Uh, I mean, this is kind of, we kind of have a different attitude about animals. But I have a tendency to adjust to the situation. Uh, I love her. I want to be with her. And uh, I don't want to change her. I don't want her to, you know, I don't want her to change her attitude. She, she loves the cats and the dogs. And it doesn't matter how friendly they are toward the rest of the homestead. We love them, and we're going to have them. So, um, we make interesting critters, we do. Humans are strange. We'll sleep with the killers. It's been known, it's been proven, it's, there's laws against it, but we do it. <coughs> That's what we do. And, uh, We may never understand the reasoning behind keeping a cat that kills your cat, kitten. Keep a cat that kills your animals. But we do. You know. And she don't understand why there's hostility in the room. But there will be. Uh, I'll get over myself. And we're going down the road. And we'll look back and uh, you know, there'll be a different scene. Uh, today... This morning sometime, what we'll do is we got this brooder back here, which, yeah, you can barely see it, but back there, <clears throat> we got that brooder for those chicks, and we'll make a stronger lid for it, and we got another uh, water trough that's about half that size, and we'll make a stronger lid for that, and they'll give us two brooders outside. <clears throat> and I said, we got some wire, we'll go back to stronger lids, so that's what we'll do. And when they get tricked to get big enough to, quote, defend themselves, then they will. Um, I mean, hell, anybody on a homestead raising chickens and everything, they know that, you know, even if you don't bring predators into the house, there's predators that could come from other places. There's coons and possums and snakes and you name it, there's other predators out there. So, what the hell? You just build shift for predators and, you know, you keep your place. You just do the best you can to protect your, the stuff that you want from the predators that want your stuff. Um, I mean, that's what we do. I mean, I've got some other issues going on that I can't beat either. So, you know, you just keep plugging along and just keep doing the things you want to do and you may eventually get you know you may at least you may eventually get some of the things you want life is always going to be a struggle so like i said i love the woman i'm with and you know i don't hate cats i don't i don't want to see cats disappear last night if it'd been just me there would have been cat that would have disappeared because that's you know, pretty damn aggravating. But she didn't destroy our hundred fifty dollar incubator, and that's a plus. So we got two two brand new kittens from the side of the road. That we'll raise them up and we'll have more cats. And hey, that's what we'll do. We if we come along and get some money and. 
can afford it, we'll fix our cats and they'll at least stop reproducing. But, you know, it takes money. But it doesn't take money to live your dreams. It doesn't take money to pursue your dreams. You just have to be determined to pursue your dreams. Later.